When it comes time to do your taxes, you can do them online or you can choose the experience that's proven over the test of time. CNL Tax and Accounting Services has been getting the maximum returns for their customers for decades. Brenda Chain and the qualified professionals at CNL Tax and Accounting Services are always abreast of the latest tax laws and can guarantee each customer the maximum credits allowed. We offer up to a $7,000 advance, so don't just punch in your numbers online. Choose CNL Tax and Accounting Services for a proven return that stands the test of time. CNL Tax and Accounting Services, 219 West Madison Street in downtown Dublin. Call 275-9899. That's 275-9899. Call Mr. Appliance for our speedy expert service. Or your appliance is not performing correctly, call 309-5960. Mr. Appliance of Dublin is your go-to company for dependable quality appliance service. Our experts are committed to delivering exceptional results in a timely manner, whether you need repairs, replacement parts, or general maintenance. Technicians are available on your schedule and always provide courteous, respectful, and quality work every time. Time. Our technicians always explain and ensure understanding so you'll never encounter surprise fees. Trust Mr. Appliance for residential and commercial repair, service, and maintenance. Call 309-5960. That's 309-5960. 309-5960. Serving Dublin and the surrounding area, Mr. Appliance and Speedy Expert Service, a locally owned and operated franchise. Well, good afternoon. My name is Valeya Burke, and I'm here with TV35, and I have two beautiful and gorgeous women here sitting with me, Ms. Frenchy Hodges and Ms. Joanne McBride. How are you two? Fine. Good, good. That's how good. are you? I'm doing very well. It's a good day. It's a good Tuesday. And you guys are just in your beautiful black history attire. I love it. So you got to, so you, you're welcome. You got to tell me what's going on. Why are you here? I hear it's a Legacy Readers Theater. Yes, we're getting ready for our 16th presentation. Wow, amazing. Frederick Douglass in five speeches. Wow, that's amazing. That's so good. 16 years. Yes. And what year did this start? 2008. 2008, and it's been going strong ever since. Yes, indeed. Oh, man. So tell me the history behind Legacy Readers, how it got started, and where it is currently now, how it's grown, everything. Well, you know, I retired from teaching in Atlanta in 2003, and I relocated here to Dublin. And when I relocated here to Dublin, I also reconnected with my childhood, my 10th grade classmate, who I had a great affinity for, Yvonne Lamb Castillo. Mm -hmm. And Yvonne and I started meeting. We both had been living in other places and over the years developed a great love for theater. And so we gathered, started talking about how could we add or start a theater here in Dublin. And uh, so we would meet and collaborate. We thought that the best thing to do would be to write a definitive drama and then see if we could get people to perform it. Well, we met for two years at the library once a week working on our drama. And we never did get anything written, but we sure did enjoy meeting. Mm -hmm. Well, near the end of those two years, early 2008, the idea came to me that one good thing that I had done in the past that I enjoyed with my students was Reader's Theater. How would it be if we brought out a Legacy Reader's Theater group here in Dublin? Well, a Reader's Theater group, we later named it Legacy. And so we thought about it. It started out with poetry, African-American poetry and other poetry from the diaspora and we, uh, we have continued, we have uh, woven in our traditional songs, and we, from time to time, have featured dance with a dancer or dancers. So in 2008, we put on our first show of poetry, music, and dance. 
Wow, and that's amazing. It, now that I think about it, a lot of people may be familiar with Reader's Theater. Other people may not exactly know what it is. So could you explain exactly what Reader's Theater is? Okay, Re and, and why it is particularly appropriate for our community. Yes. Regular theater requires that the participants learn lines. And my experience with high school students requiring them to learn uh, Julius Caesar's uh, funeral oration, Friends, Romans, Countrymen, was only 50% successful. Students just do not take to memorizing lines. However, I found that I could coach students how to deliver lines from the written page in a certain way that was commanding and attention-getting and communicative. Mm -hmm. And so that, for me, was the beginning of my uh, foray into the Regis Theater. I trained the students how to read and express that they didn't have to worry about memorizing lines. Mm -hmm. And so... That takes a lot of the stress away, right? That takes a lot of the stress away. And it lets your creativity flow, it's free flowing, and it's no anxiety that comes with that. That's right. So talk about this amazing Reader's Theater that we're going to have very soon with Frederick Douglass. Yes. You know, um, in February 2022, HBO mounted a special entitled Frederick Douglass in Five Speeches. And at the time, I was reading a biography about Frederick Douglass by David Blight, a historian who had accumulated some additional papers uh, on Frederick Douglass and written a very definitive, long biography. I started reading it, and shortly thereafter, I met with David Blight and uh, Henry Louis Gates, who sponsored, who who produced Frederick Douglass in five speeches to historians. Um, and as I looked at and viewed that Frederick Douglass in five speeches, it occurred to me that it was a type of presentation that would lend itself well to Reader's Theater. And so I transcribed it, and we are going to present the definitive rendition mm. that we saw on HBO uh, a year ago. Mm, it's been a year in the making. Yes, oh, yes, my, yes. Oh my goodness, and I hear that you want to do an excerpt from this. Yes, um, I have with me two readers from Reader's Theater who have agreed to help me share with you a, a small excerpt from the presentation because yeah. we do want our community to come out and enjoy learning all about Frederick Douglass. You'll be surprised about what a man Frederick Douglass was, how extensive his story goes. We'll take a short break and we'll be back with the reading of the excerpt. Jackson's Income Tax Service is ready to serve you. Jackson's Income Tax Service is open year-round, so don't delay. Come in today and get your taxes done and out of the way. Jackson's Income Tax Service has always stayed abreast of current and future tax laws. Email Jackson's Income Tax Service, call 272-8681, or visit us at 610 North Church Street in Dublin. Jackson's Income Tax Service is following CDC guidelines, practicing social distancing. You may drop off, email, or mail in your information for professional tax return services. So come to Jackson's Income Tax Service. Where experience makes the difference. Hi, I'm uh, Dr. Dustin Gay. I'm a local orthopedic surgeon with Houston Clinic Orthopedics, and we'd really like to invite everybody to come out to our new uh, office facility to take a look at it. It's a larger space with physical therapy, and uh, we're just excited to have it, and we'd love for people to come out and visit us. Come by and see us today at our brand new location, the Houston Clinic Medical Drive in Dublin. Hey, I got bad reception. But the boys did such a great job letting our friends know about the chip shortage and ordering their vehicles. Now I just need the vehicles to come in. 
I don't want to end up with pie in my face. I want pie in my face. Like Lost them. Wow, look at all the new vehicles. Ordering works after all. You got pie now. Others call you customers. We call you friends. That's Dublin Ford Lincoln. Allen's Heating and Cooling is your licensed Amana equipment dealer. Trust Allen's Heating and Cooling to install and service your heating and cooling unit. Allen services all brands and with the purchase of a new Amana, offers a lifetime compressor warranty. Call Sean Clark or any of his friendly staff at Allen's Heating and Cooling. Your Amana dealer. Amana lasts and lasts and lasts. As we come back, I am happy to present an excerpt from Frederick Douglass in five speeches. I am accompanied by Joanne McBride and Martha Mency for this portion. Thank you. Oh, beautiful, for spacious skies, for amber waves of grain, for purple mountains, majesty, above the Beauty plains, America, America, God shed His grace on thee, and crown thy good with brotherhood from sea to shine sea. I have no love for America, as such. I have no patriotism. I have no country. What country have I? The institutions of this country do not know me, do not recognize me as a man. I am not thought of, am not spoken of, except as a piece of property. Now, in such a country as this, I cannot have patriotism. Imagine that you had to dispel doubts about your full humanity every time you took to the stage. Imagine you had to refute doubts about your own native ability every time you picked up a pen. Imagine you had to fight to show you were as complicated a human being as any who walk the face of the earth, having to fight that battle over and over and over every day. That was the life of Frederick Douglass. He was the most famous black man in the world in the 19th century. And he achieved that position through one means, his voice. My country, tis of the sweet land of liberty, of thee I sing. Land where my fathers died, land of the peace and pride, from every mountain side, let freedom ring. He who could address this audience without a quaking sensation has stronger nerves than I have. I do not remember ever having appeared as a speaker before an assembly more shrinkingly or with greater distrust of my ability than I do this day. The papers and placards say that I am to deliver a 4th of July oration. The fact is, ladies and gentlemen, the distance between this platform and the slave plantation from which I escaped is considerable. And the difficulties to be overcome in getting from the latter to the farmer is by no means slight. I liken the speech to a symphony with three movements. The first movement is fairly short. Douglas put in his audience at ease. 
the glories of the founding fathers, the glories of the Declaration of Independence, and it's beautiful. And the audience must have felt like, wow, Frederick's gonna lift us up today. Fellow citizens, I am not wanting in respect for the fathers of this republic. The signers of the Declaration of Independence were brave men. They were peace men, but they preferred revolution to peaceful submission to bondage. And then the whole middle movement of the symphony is like a hailstorm. It's the physical horror of slavery he racks upon the audience. He invited me here to sing for you, but I'm not going to sing. I'm going to make you hurt. Mark, mark the sad procession as it moves wearily along, and the inhuman wretch who drives them. Hear his savage yells and blood-chilling oaths as he hurries on with the private captives. Attend the auction. See the men examined like horses. See the forms of women rudely and brutally exposed to the shocking gaze of American slave buyers. Do you mean citizens to mock me by asking me to speak here today? What do I or those I represent have to do with your national independence? Are the great principles of political freedom and natural justice embodied in the Declaration extended to us? What to the American slave is your 4th of July? I answer, a day that reveals to him more than any other days of the year the gross injustice and cruelty to which he is a constant victim. To him, your, de your celebration is a sham. Your national greatness, swelling vanity, your sounds of rejoicing are empty and heartless. Your shouts of liberty and equality hollow the mark. The existence of slavery in this country rams your humanity as base pretense, and your Christianity is a lie. Had I the ability, could I reach the nation's ear, I would today pour out a fiery stream of biting ridicule, blasting reproach, withering sarcasm, and stern rebuke. For it is not light that is needed, but fire. It is not the gentle shower, but thunder. We need the storm, the whirlwind, and the earthquake. The feeling of the nation must be violent. The propriety of the nation must be startled. The hypocrisy of the nation must be exposed. Crimes against God and man must be proclaimed and denounced. And he stops. You can sense a pause in the rhetoric. It's as though the storm is over. The audience had felt in pain for 10 pages of this text, and he lets them back up. The last short movement of the speech, he says. But your nation is still young, is still malleable, but you're on the precipice of self-destruction. If you can't solve this problem of slavery, there will be no America. I do not despair of this country. There are forces which inevitably must work the downfall of slavery. I therefore leave off where I began with hope. Mine eyes have seen the glory of the coming of the Lord. He is trampling out the vintage where the grapes of wrath are stored. He has lost the fateful light of his terrible sword. 
His truth is marching on. Glory, glory, hallelujah. Glory, glory, hallelujah. Glory, glory, hallelujah. His truth is marching on. Tax Time America has been bringing customers all their credits for more than 16 years. Tax Time America has provided our community with friendly, professional tax preparation and is always up to date on IRS rules and regulations and on the Affordable Care Act. Depend on Tax Time America, an authorized e-file provider, registered tax preparer, and a member of the Associated Tax Professionals. Tax Time America brings experience and ethical practices to you with no money out of pocket. Get your $2,500 tax advance. Call Tax Time America now at 274-8181. Tax Time America Income Tax Service, located at 103 High Street in the Northside Shopping Center just off North Jefferson. Bringing customers all their credits for more than 16 years. Tax Time America, located next to Cricket Wireless on North Jefferson in Dublin. Call Tax Time America now, 274-8181. Tax Time America would like to honor and remember a devoted friend and mentor, Lieutenant Colonel Stephen Smith, October 12, 1962 to August 14, 2019. The holidays are over and we're open for business here at Dublin Nissan. Whether it's the Armada or the Rogue, we want you to come experience the thrill of the drive. With our inventory selection growing every day, we're looking for our best year ever in 2023. Only Dublin Nissan has this winning lineup. From the Frontier, to the Rogue, to the Sentra. Pick your color, pick your options. Henrietta sells cars well. David sells cars well. And remember, go dogs. At Central Georgia Primary Care, we are dedicated to improving your health and quality of life throughout Lawrence County with state-of-the-art facilities. We are your one-stop shop for all things health care, and there's a location near you no matter where you live. Central Georgia Primary Care is located at 406 Central Drive in East Dublin and just off Hillcrest at 101 Mercer Drive and in Dublin at 230 Industrial Boulevard, north, south, east, or west. There's a Central Georgia Primary Care centrally located near you. Looking for a career that's always in demand? How about one that provides you with practical and useful skills? A career that allows you to earn hands-on experience and an education with little to no debt? Oconee Fall Line Technical College prepares students with the right set of skills to succeed in fast-growing careers in healthcare, manufacturing, business, and technology fields. If you're ready to gain the experience you need to start your career locally, OFTC is where it all begins. Oconee Fall Line Technical College. Careers begin here. And we are back. You just heard an amazing excerpt from Frederick Douglass in five speeches. And we had three beautiful women reading that. And how did that feel to do that? It felt really good. Uh, we are not necessarily the readers who will be reading those parts on the 18th. But uh, one voice was David Blights, the historian that I spoke about earlier. Martha read his words. And Joe and I rotated with Frederick Douglass's words. Mm, beautiful, beautiful. And that's just only a few minutes of the, of the Frederick Douglass in five speeches. So imagine what the whole thing is going to be like. That's, oh, I'm ready for that. So we have, 11, we have, a, we have 12 readers. Ooh. Yes, we have 12 readers. Uh, we, have, we, we are very excited about this presentation and we, we hope you will come on out and Share it with us, share this reveal with us. And for those that are just tuning in, what time, what date, where is this going to be? Saturday, February 18th at 4 p.m. at Dublin Middle School. Okay, so there you have no it. No admission, free admission. Mm. Mm, Free admission. So there is no excuse why you can't be there. Free admission, Dublin Middle School, Saturday, February. 18th. 18th. Gotcha. All and right. We will be accompanied by Diedrich Guyton, who is director of music for Legacy Readers Theater. 
Okay, well that and, is beautiful. And his singers, he has some wonderful singers. It's They'll do a better job with those songs than we do. <laughs> <laughs> well, you did a beautiful job. They got a taste of it, okay? And that's yes. all that matters. So thank you, guys. thank you, beautiful women, for joining me. And one more thing that I wanted to wrap up with. If Frederick Douglass was here today, how do you think he would feel about America? Well, come on the 18th and you'll find out how we <laughs> think he would feel. Well, to answer your question, his, one of his last speech, speeches, uh, he was an old man by this time, and one of his last speeches sounds like the rhetoric of the uh, civil rights leaders of today. Um, it sounds so contemporary. Uh, he realized that discrimination and white power uh, was an ongoing thing. Jim Crow had reared its head during re Reconstruction. Mm -hmm. And he realized that the harmonious America that he had envisioned would occur after the black man had gained the right to fight in the um, Civil War mm -hmm. and come back from war, he, he had envisioned that he would be blended into the citizenry peacefully. Mm -hmm. And then he has to go through this disillusionment. And so his speeches are very much, his last speech is very much like the civil rights leaders that you hear speaking today uh, about um, civil rights. Mm. Okay. Well, thank you so much for you beautiful women being here. I appreciate you and make sure you guys come out to Frederick Douglass in five speeches Saturday, February 18th at Dublin Middle School, free admission. So there's no excuse, no money involved. Just show up. <laughs> oh, thank you for having us. Thank you. My name is uh, Phil Cattell. I am one of the part owners here and the general manager here at the Hampton Inn and Suites. First time when I got introduced to Morris Bank, the people were so friendly and helpful. You feel like that you are appreciated there. At Morris Bank, everybody down at the bank is so friendly, and not just to myself, they're just friendly to everybody. They want us to succeed because our success is their success at the same time. That makes a lot of difference, and they're always there for us. Because your pet is part of your family, your pet deserves respectful care after death. Stanley Petuary takes pride in providing quality care for your pet. We realize the bond and relationship shared with pets. It's only right that we treat the passing of your pet with the respect and dignity we reserve for all our family members. And we pride ourselves in providing a friendly personal touch for your pet's final needs. We promise to treat your pet with the dignity that he or she deserves and hope these things will make the loss of a beloved pet a little easier for you. Visit us at Stanley Petuary, adjacent to Stanley Funeral Home, 1320 North Jefferson in Dublin, or log on to stanleypetuary.com. Serving all of Middle Georgia, Stanley Petuary. Hello, I'm Jim Tanner from JT's Fall Market. Come out today and see us for all your meat and produce needs. We got rib, pork, Boston butt, sausage, bacon, best in the country, fresh beef. We raise them ourselves, corn fed. And speaking of corn, Good cream corn, peas, watermelons, cantaloupes, sauces of all kinds. Now at JT's, we got JT's Barbecue Shack. We have pulled pork, ribs, chicken, hamburgers, hot dogs, and all the fixings for all your needs. All the beef that we cooking is locally grown. Come by and see us today at 728 Central Drive, East Dublin, Georgia, or call in orders at 609-9850.